Hey guys, welcome to Harry's History of the 1930s. The developments in the 30s very much have to do with what happened in the 20s. And if you remember from last week, the 20s were the decade where pretty much all women cut their hair extremely short, all the way shaven bob hair. By the end of the 20s, it started to look as if the short hair trend was going out of style. And it definitely was. For in the 30s, in the beginning of the 30s, people started noticing that um, certain influential ladies started to slowly grow out their hair. And of course, what influential people do, the masses follow. So it didn't take that long for women to grow tired of short hair and start growing it long again. Now, we all know what happens when you have short hair and you start to grow it out. You go through that awkward kind of stage where your hair looks like just nothing. <laughs> that weird stage. So imagine the entire female population going through this. People had to figure something out to do with their hair during this awkward growing out stage. So they decided to mask it with curls. Um, women would curl the ends of their hair, wear it in all kinds of twists depending on how long it was, and um, try to mask that weird shapeless stage in that way. And also bring back the hair pieces. Of course, when your own hair is short and if it's just long enough to pull back, you can then just apply a false bun or braid or whatever it is you fancy. So needless to say, straight hair went out of fashion and you're pretty much required to curl your hair at all times. Straight hair just was not done. So another trend from the 20s that really went out of style in the 30s is the fringe. In the 20s you had um, blunt cut bangs that really just was not done in the 30s at all. In fact, in the 30s, somewhere halfway through the century, um, we see a return of the center parting, which had been out of style for a while in the 20s mostly side partings were worn, but here you see the return of the middle parting just briefly before we go back to the side parting. But yeah, no more fringes. And of course, again, to grow them out, women would sometimes curl them or pin them back um, or just finger wave them to the side. So in the second half of the century, there was quite a lot of freedom as to what you could do with your hair and still be fashionable. Women were very much developing their own style again, and there were just a couple of major kind of big trends that were generally followed, but it wasn't really that important anymore. The biggest trend, kind of, I would say, was wearing the hair out of the face. So it would be uh, finger waved back like that or just pinned back. And that was kind of the bigger trend. And then another trend was to wear fluffy curls. So the hair would be curled and then the end would have been brushed out to create kind of a soft and fluffy effect. So in general, I guess you could say 30s hair is 20s hair with a couple extra inches and a little bit more softness. Hair in the 20s was very stern, um, stiff, pretty much plastered down to the head. And in the 30s, it's a lot more loose and kind of feminine looking. In the 30s, the center of fashion is moving away from Paris and it is shifting towards Hollywood. Movies are coming up, um, black and white movies, and the movie stars are what are the people that start to dictate the fashion. So of course, whatever they did with their hair, people followed, although uh, sometimes the movie star hair was deemed impractical because if the hair was too long and then worn in fluffy curls, it would not go well with a furry collar. <laughs> you know, it just sticks to it and everything, not practical. So as you can imagine, the later we go into the decade, the longer the hair gets. Hair just needs a couple of years to grow from boy cut to um, shoulder length or wherever you want to grow it out to. So the more time progresses, the longer the hair gets. So what I'm wearing today would be a mid to end of the decade hairstyle with some curls, some waves. So let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to start by making a side parting and I'm going to separate out the front two pieces of hair. Then I'm going to pin back the back hair for now and work on the front first and I'm going to finger wave it like I did last week in the 20s. So I'm going to start by applying a load of mousse onto my hair Then take my comb, comb the hair upwards and backwards, then pin it down with a clip. Hold that clip down, bring my hair sharply downwards, hold it down with my finger, then bring my comb sharply upwards again and pin it down right there with another clip. 
Then I'm going to repeat that same process just two more times. And then I'm going to clip in some clips into the middle of each wave to create that sharp edge. And set that with some hairspray first. So then I'm going to finger wave the other side of my hair. And when that is done, I'm going to let down the back of my hair. And I'm first going to separate out a section from the nape of my neck and pin that up. And I'm going to do this for two reasons. First of all, I, there's no need for me to curl all of my hair, so this is kind of like damage control. And second, this is going to create a little cushion for me to pin my faux bob to later on. Okay, so I'm going to spray my hair with some heat protectant. Separate out a layer from the bottom. And I'm going to start to curl this in pretty small curls. Don't take pretty small sections on a, I believe this is a 19 millimeter curling iron. And I'm going to curl my hair until everything is curled. And I'm going to curl whatever hair is left from my finger waves as well. So when everything is curled, I'm going to comb out these curls to make them nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to take out my clips from my finger waves. So then I'm going to take my hair and make a faux bob. So I'm just going to gather the ends of half of my hair, kind of twist them around my head and then pin them to that cushion that I have in the back. And I'm going to pin them from underneath my hair so that you don't see the bobby pins. And you want to make this a pretty high bob. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then just play around with it a little bit, try to tweak any little pieces that may be sticking out, uh, make it even shorter if you have to. But there is your 1930s hairstyle done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more hair history videos. Next week we are doing the 40s, I am really excited. So I will see you then. Bye!